excitement of getting to know you. This is Natalie Curry with The Bridge Group, EXP Realty, and I am so excited to have Dr. Alethea Kipriotakis with me today of Cosmos Dental. Alethea, thank you so much for being on. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So Alethea is going to tell us a little bit about herself, her practice and why everyone should run out and make an appointment and make sure you're getting those teeth cleanings with Dr. K here. So Dr. K, how long have you been in Katie? Tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, so uh, we've been in Katie, my husband and I have been in Katie about 10 years. We moved here from Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, we have two sons, 14 and 12, and we live in Katie, very entrenched in the Katie community. We love this community and we decided to open a business in this community that we love. Fantastic, and we love that you're here. So awesome. And now um, opening up your own business, you know, that's a huge take on. Um, yes. What made you decide, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead, open up my own practice, dedicate myself to that. What was that for you? Like what made that happen? So initially when we moved to Katie, uh, I was working at different offices as an associate dentist and I had some really wonderful experiences um, and I learned a lot. But uh, one of the things that I learned is that to really practice dentistry the way I wanted to practice it, right. um, and it's somewhat of an art uh, when you're in any type of medicine, uh, you want to, to do things the way you want to do them, you want to have the relationships with the patients that you want to have, and sort of have a degree of autonomy in making those big decisions for your office and for your patients. And so ultimately, uh, we decided to open up our own office. Okay, that's awesome. And it's and it's a lovely office. You have a really great space here. Lovely staff as well. Um, so I guess my next question to you would be, you know, what do you offer as a practice that you want the community to know about? Okay, so that's a really great question. So one of the things I felt was missing in some of the other offices that I worked with what was the more personal aspect is, spending really a lot of time up front with patients so that they understand what they need, why do they need it, um, we're, we're proposing these things to happen for them and sort of helping them understand that oral health has to do with your overall health and that everything ties in together mm -hmm. and helping patients to understand that up front so that the whole journey when they're with us, which we hope is for, the, for their generation, perhaps for the next generation, is to seek and maintain that oral health right. on that level for them. And um, I think it's really important to help them understand those things. So I think that's something that we offer that's a little bit different. We're not just doing dentistry, we're practicing it, we're living it, and we want our patients to understand what, what's really important about doing that. That's awesome. So a lot of explanation into you yes. know a procedure, something as simple as a cleaning, just to make people more comfortable. That's right. That's awesome. And I think that's really important. I know I'm terrified of going to the dentist, so yes. when you have someone that's explaining everything to you step by step, it really yes. does help a lot. And, and, that's, and you bring up a really good point uh, I'm glad you said that because that is something that I think is another thing that differentiates us is we we welcome you we welcome people who have maybe had those bad experiences come here and we'll show you what it should be and how you can have a good experience from top to bottom perfect perfect and what would you say drives your passion to do what you do that's a great question um, so Again, I don't see dentistry as just a job. I see it as, you know, for me, it's my life's work is to, because having a patient come in who may have that fear uh, of the dentist and helping them to overcome that and become a regular patient and feel good about the things that they're doing, that's, that's something that I'm passionate about. And for some people, that's about oral health or disease that they may have in their mouth, but for other people, it's aesthetic. It's that they hate, hate their smile and right. they, they don't want to laugh. They don't want to talk in front of people. And if we can help somebody achieve an aesthetic that makes them feel good along with their oral health, that, that's, that's, I'm very passionate about helping people achieve that. And that's what really gets me up in the morning and, yeah. and coming to work. That's beautiful. So also, you know, allowing us to exude our confidence because I, I know That's plenty right. of people, like you said, they will not smile in pictures or anything right. like that because they don't like the way their teeth look That's right. or they're stained or what have you. So I love that. That's, that's mm -hmm. beautiful. Um, and then as far as your personal daily routine in the morning, I love asking this question because everyone has a different way of getting themselves, you know, revved up for the day. What does Dr. K do to get herself going? Okay, so uh, I have two boys, and so first things first, 
Uh, we, we get them up in the morning, get them going, have breakfast together. I, that, for me, that means my coffee. For them, that means something to eat before school. And just talking about our day and talking yeah. about what we hope to accomplish for the day. And then coming into work, meeting with my team and us getting revved up for our patients that day and for you know whatever excitement we have coming for that day. And so I think just communication right. and talking it, talking it through, Coffee, also very important coffee. Oh, I know. <laughs> and uh, getting all those things done in the morning and then we're ready to face the day and feel good about it. Okay, beautiful. So some good, you know, value, family time, and then yes. off we go to the races. Okay, perfect. And then as far as, you know, you have your business now, it's been here for how long? Six years. Six years. Mm -hmm. So where do you see yourself in the next five years? So uh, we hope to grow. We have grown a lot in the first six years. Um, as anybody can tell you who starts a business, it's not easy always, mm -hmm. but there's a lot of peaks and valleys, but the peaks, uh, the peaks get higher and the valleys get higher and, and everything, you know, we're growing, we're seeing more patients, we're having, I have patients who have been coming to me since, since almost since the day I opened my my office and that makes me really really happy so we hope to grow we hope to grow right now we have two operatories that we use for patients we hope to make that four within the next couple of years and um, you know just keep seeing the growth in the community yeah and I think a lot has to do with you know you're building relationships as well you that's know? Right. Um, so that's that's a wonderful that's thing key. Yeah. for a general dentist very very important relationships making sure that they feel good about coming back every six months. Beautiful, beautiful. And then for someone out there who is thinking of maybe whether it's a dentist or any other type of business that, you know, they want to start their own business, what would be a piece of advice you would give to that person? Well, it's always going to be harder than what you imagine. Um, and just getting up every morning and taking it one day at a time and knowing that there's going to be some beauty in every day and there's going to be some difficulties in every day. And at the end of the day, as long as you can find that beauty, whether right. it's a new relationship, a new patient, a happy patient, um, a happy employee, um, you know, if you can find the good in every day and just try not to get bogged down by all the heavy details that go with running a business right. and look, you know, find that little bit of beauty in every day that makes you feel good and get back the next day and do it again. Yeah, I love that. So it's that routine and just sticking to it and yes. making sure you're focused and just keep going with the flow, whether it's up and down. That's right. Got it. That's Perfect. right. Attitude, I guess, is what it comes down to. Yeah, positivity. So yes. that's, a, that's a huge key. Um, and what would be the best way for our viewers to reach your office? Um, well, you could re reach us at our, uh, we are on Facebook and Instagram, Cosmos Dental Group. Um, we, our phone number is 281-712-7271. And our email is info, I-N-F-O, at cosmosdentalgroup.com. Perfect. And, and one last little thing. So I heard that you are expanding a bit, looking for someone for a new position yes. to fill. Can you tell our audience a little bit about that? Yes. So um, the growth that I talked about before, we are growing and we need somebody to join our team to help us with that growth uh, to help take care of our patients. So we're looking for a registered dental assistant. Um, anybody who's interested, please contact us. Um, again, 281-712-7271 and info at cosmosdentalgroup.com. We'd love to meet you and see if you want to join our team. Okay, beautiful. Well, thank you so much for your time thank today. Thank you so much. I know you're super, super busy. Guys, thank Dr. You. K, Cosmos Dental, she's amazing. Thank Thanks, you so guys. much for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.